Hey everybody, Marinara here from On The Go In Vegas. I'm sitting here with my brother from another mother and my dear friend, Tom Stefanos, AKA Bahama. Right? You're Bahama, yeah, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I am Bahama, yeah, yeah. the Vegas guys. That's right, from the Vegas guys. Who, by the way, is a terrific author and screenplay writer. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the compliment. No, you're, you're welcome. So uh, let me ask you this, Bahama. Yeah. What inspired you to write novels? Well, you know, I've got five movie screenplays completed on Final Draft, and it's so hard to get a movie produced, so I figured while I'm waiting around, I might as well convert them to novels. And that way it gives me an avenue to share my stories, really cool stories, with the public. Let me ask you. Let me ask you this. I think most authors, right? They stick with, with the same theme. Right. And I noticed that uh, each novel that that you've written, uh -huh. uh, they're different. One's an adventure, and others a fantasy, uh, science fiction. And from what I'm hearing, you're now writing a romance, or should I say, more of a magical romance. You know, I just I just love uh, sharing stories, and I did that intentionally. I wrote. Uh, intentionally uh, different genres because I wanted to show my talent and uh, and I wanted to share different stories mm -hmm. and so that's why I do that most people do like all mysteries or whatever mm -hmm. and, and I so the this one is a uh, sword is a uh, is a um, adventure novel a really good adventure novel I got a lot of compliments on uh, so sometimes I go to a Starbucks and write, uh -huh. and uh, and I, I got some people that showed that bought their my novel from there, and they said, "Man, this is really really good." She goes, "When is the movie going to be made?" I said, "Well, that's a whole different world, you know." The next one is Stranded on Earth. It's a fantasy science fiction, mm -hmm. and the next one is a magical romance. And then one after that's a thriller, and it's a dramedy, and then we're working on one together with our videographer, Bob Randall. Yes, we are. And it's, I'm not gonna give it away, but it is amazing. I think so. And uh, so I don't wanna give it away. No, don't do We're gonna don't convert it to a novel. Tell our viewers a little bit about the first novel. And I see you have both, uh, you have Sword yeah. and uh, Stranded on Earth. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about Sword. Why don't we just show the preview uh, video that we did on, oh, okay. on, on the go in Vegas? That's good. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Let's do that. Mahama. Yeah. Why in the world did you drag me and Baby Bell to the middle of this jungle? I mean, in the middle of the Devil's Triangle? You're going to love this answer. The reason I dragged you here to this godforsaken island is so you get the full effect of my new novel called Sword. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. I'm definitely getting the full effect here. So just get on with it, Bahamas, so we can get out of here. This place is giving me a creeps. Yeah, me too. But listen, so this is how the story goes. An oil tycoon hires treasure hunter Ryan Marshall and his psychic Mike to find his granddaughter Sarah, who recently vanished in an uncharted island in the Devil's Triangle. The adventure begins when Ryan and Mike climb aboard the oil exploration ship Explorer King One. The team travels to a hidden island inhabited with cannibals, creatures, and a dragon in search of Sarah. Soon after locating Sarah, Ryan and Mike discover that she's being held captive by Morg and his dreaded pirates of old. Now Ryan and his team are faced with the challenge of rescuing Sarah from the clutches of Morg and his pirates and returning home to their time and dimension. All right, Bahama, you got my attention. This is really kind of getting interesting right now. Tell me more, I need more. No, 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 you're not going to get away with it that easy. You're going to have to go to Amazon and buy the book and read it yourself. But I guarantee you, when you read Sword, it's going to take you on an adventure of a lifetime. Where do I get the book again? You pick it up on Amazon. What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. What, what the heck was that? I don't know, but let's get the heck out of here. 
Before we get eaten alive, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's get on the go. Let's get back to Vegas. Let's do it. Wow, that was an awesome video, if I must say so myself. Yeah, it was. Yeah, uh, that gives us a good idea of what the what we're in store for. Yeah. You know, it uh, sounds like a an adventure. It is. Swords is an amazing adventure novel. How about the second novel, Tom? A Stranded on Earth. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, it's a fantasy science fiction. And uh, you know what? Rather than me explaining, why don't you read the synopsis that I wrote? Oh. Yeah. Okay. You've got a great I'll give it voice. A, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, go for it. Four teenage space travelers are caught in a space storm that throws them light years off course. They find themselves violently tearing through Earth's atmosphere in the, in the year 1990. The ship's computer, named Eve, follows its emergency protocol and releases Guardian, a biomechanical person assigned to protect the four teenage space travelers. Then, moments later, their spaceship is tracked by NORAD satellites. Immediately, the military and the CIA are dispatched to hunt down the space travelers. Now, faced with the challenge of survival, each one of them must find a way to blend in with society, elude the military, repair their ship, and return home safely to save their planet. Save very, planet. very cool, yeah, man. Yeah, it's a really cool story. It's, it's intriguing. Where do our viewers uh, they, pick one up? Yeah, they go to Amazon.com, and if you click on the link below, it'll take you right to Amazon.com. Cool. And uh, it's Stranded on Earth and Sword by Tom Stephanos, S-T-E-P-H-A-N-O-S. A.K.A. Bahama. The Vegas guys. Vegas guys. Thank you, Tom. Oh, thank I appreciate you. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, uh, I get to keep these, right? Oh, yeah, you get to keep both of them, oh, and baby, I'll sign thanks. them for you later. How's that? All right, brother, thank you. Hey, appreciate it. And, My brother from another mother. Oh, I know. You're awesome, man. And, you know, yeah. please, everybody, subscribe. Uh, go on the, on the go in Vegas and uh, subscribe. Thank you, Tom. All right, thank you so it. much. Have a great day.